All right, so um, I was just trying to get um, fellow believers and Christians to um, say a prayer for everybody in Iran. I just got a message that they've been cutting off the Internet for about two months. They've been killing people and children. And um, they just want prayers and for their voice to be sent to the international organizations and Kami Minel's dictatorial government. So I'm not really sure if I pronounced that correctly. But really, the real message that we want to give to Iran is to give your life to Jesus Christ because the rapture is about to take place. And it's only going to get worse from here on out for those who have not accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. So I'm going to attach the sinner's prayer in Farsi which is the Persian language, so that all those who are in Iran that are Muslims can give their life to, to Christ. Um, and if you need to study why Islam is a false religion and Muhammad is a false prophet, then um, Sira International, C-I-R-A International, it might be Circa. C-I-R-C-A International. I'm driving as you can see, so I will try to post a link for that if you need more research, but really the truth just comes into the fact that you're not going to have that communication with Allah because that's not that's not correct, you know what I mean? Like, And I believe Allah really is, is Satan. So... You know, Satan is the god of this world, the prince of this world, for a very short time, very short time period. But <clears throat> you're, you're, what I'm saying is just that Muslims are not going to have the connection because you need Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and you can only c communicate with God through Jesus. That's the answer, and I'm sure there are Christians in Iran. You know, they might not be promoting it they might be undercover they might be going to undercover churches or house churches but i know that there's christians all over the world so yeah um definitely gonna be praying for you and uh, i'm gonna attach the link peace